Hello, good morning. First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Aditya Satira Ramadan. I'm from PT PLN Bersero Unit Ilmu Transmisi Jawa Bagian Barat. I'm here with my partner, Emma Amali Ulfa, from PT Indonesia Power Head Office. We would like to say thank you to HMHA 2020 Committee and also PJB Section for accepting our paper titled Increasing the Number of Inductive Stove Users in Indonesia Using Cognitive Intervention Model to support Industry 4.0 implementation at PT PLN Bersero. Now I will begin the presentation. Industry 4.0 in Indonesia, marked by technology that influence business behavior in some Indonesian companies like PT PLN Bersero. PT PLN Bersero wanted to modernize the society. In line with its vision, one is to encourage the society preference of using inductive stove. Why we choose the inductive stove? The goals regarding to the situation is to give a society variety of energy using Indonesia. Also, another goal is to support the government to save the burden of subsidizing LPG or liquid petroleum gas, which is commonly used by the society today. Right now, less than 0.1% of Thailand customer already use the inductive stove. Even though that PT Pan Pesero has been already promoting the use of inductive stove using social media, such as Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and also the WhatsApp Messenger, is still not really encouraging the society to use the inductive stove. So we will try to give a solution about inductive stove promotion to reach society preference using a method called in cognitive intervention. In advanced analysis, customer is willing to use the inductive stove is affected by several reasons, marketing mix, environmental stimulation, customer characteristic, and the last one is customer psychology. It is the highlighted of our customer psychology. Customer psychology contains of basic psychology concept which determine the behavior of individuals and affect its consumption. And cognitive perception express that human is always potential about getting any idea which may rational or irrational. Irrational thought increases the emergence of emotion and behavior disturbance. Cognitive intervention considered as the key aspect and used to affect the decision of purchasing inductive stuff which also support the industry 4.0 implementation at PT Panel Bersero to increase the inductive stuff user in household sector by changing the mindset of the society by cognitive intervention method and support PT Panel Bersero to apply its industry 4.0 for the household sector. Research method. The first is research object. Sampling by method using coincidence. Sample were defined as customers of PT PLN Persero. In household sectors, whom already use inductive stove, whom have not been used inductive stove, age 17 years old and older. Data collecting methods. Questionnaire method using the Likert scale. And then for the research design. Research design use in using is using a one group before and after or usually set as pre-test and post-test group. It design provide a treatment without any class comparison. On pre-test, the Likert scale questionnaire aims to determine the condition of the inductive stuff promotion, which already been conducted by PT and Persero, focus on its range, quality, and attraction. Meanwhile, the post-test conduct is to de determine the effect of qual cognitive intervention implementation towards quality promotion to influence the decision of purchasing inductive stuff. And then for development models, using cognitive intervention, a psychological intervention, a therapeutic counseling exercise using various media and attempting to change people talk in different way. And then have a short term goals, to change people's point of view, especially for influ influence directly respondents regarding decision of purchasing indu inductive stuff. Research development model is built by based on cognitive intervention design, which affect the psychology of the customer decision to purchase a, a product. It consists of purchase motivation, perceived quality, and positive talk about the brand. This model is effect as expected to influence directly to respondent regarding the decision of purchasing inductive stuff. Here with the development model of this research. 
case study and collecting data. We combine the information about promotion condition about using inductive stove held by PT PLN Persero and information regarding the promotion quality held by PT PLN Persero. And then for second step, we conduct the cognitive intervention design with a redesigning poster using cognitive intervention model, making a video to persuade people to use the inductive stove. And for the last step, we conduct the cognitive intervention implementation with help pretest and then cognitive intervention implementation and post test. And then I will explain about the research and analysis. In this research, we have 100 respondent using the Likert questionnaire with maximum scale is five and the minimum scale is one. This data used to de determine the interval of satisfaction classes level and divided into five class in Likert scale as follows. Highest value minus lowest value divided amount of classes. So we have five category of this class. Pretest. The pretest helped to determine promotion quality of using inductive stove held by PT PLN Persero. Divided into the assessment of poster quality, design, color, and font, and then quality information delivered by using inductive stove and diction selection. Pretest is held before designing cognitive intervention and used as basis to prepare design of cognitive intervention on this research. The average pretest results are 182.44 which classified as bad category. It shows that promotion quality of using inductive stove by PT PLN Persero still need improvement at poster quality, quality information delivered, and diction selection in order to influence product purchase decision to increase the number of inductive stove users in Indonesia. Cognitive intervention design with redesigning poster, making video, and discussion with word of mouth. Digital poster will be uploaded in PT PLN Persero social media, which consists of two different posters. The posters made based on the results of pretest analysis. Consists of attractive word that easy to understand, interesting, unique, and easy to remember. And for sure, the comparison of inactive stuff and guest stuff. For video was made based on several variable like promotion quality of using inductive stove, product quality, comparison with gas stove, and other persuasive information. The decision conduct based on the word of mouth of the respondent who already used the inductive stove, which will use as reference for saving customers' expectation. Discussion will provide information related to the recommendation and comment of the customer about their experience of using inductive stuff that may evict customer purchasing decision of this product. And then for the post-test. After implementation cognitive intervention, this measurement of promotion quality of using inductive stuff by PT PLN Persero as post-test space. We conduct uh, with same respondent and same question with Likert scale. And for the result is 411.89 and classified for good category. It's described the condition of quality promotion of using inductive stock by PT PLN Persero after implementation cognitive intervention can influence the decision of product purchase Data normality test use SPSS version 25. Software to find not data is normally distributed or not. Which H0 data was normally distributed? H1 data was then normally distributed? Alpha less than 0.05. Critical area sick Kolmogorov Smirnov less than 0.05. And the result is for the pre test have sick Kolmogorov Smirnov 0.2 so data was normally distributed and for the post test 0.2 data was normally distributed and then for paired sample t-test result analysis t-test include in class of stat 
statistical parametric were used in the testing of hypothesis and to find out where, whether the difference are significant from the two variable compared. This test can construct in the data is normally distributed. Use H0 is there was no effect of cognitive intervention implementation to increase the number of users inductive stuff in Indonesia and H1 there was effect of cognitive intervention implementation to increase the number of users inductive stuff in Indonesia. Critical area H0 is rejected if the sick to tell less than 0.05. The result for quality promotion of the use of inductive stuff by PTPL and Persero is 0.0. .0. So the decision is there was effect of cognitive intervention implementation to increase the number of users inductive stuff in Indonesia. General analysis contains the general analysis about the effect of cognitive intervention method use. The pre-test and post-test results as well as the increase of promotion quality about using inductive stuff held by PTPL and Persero after cognitive intervention implementation. Pre-test result is 182.44 or bad category and post-test result is 411.89 or bad or good category. The improvement of the promotion quality about the use of inductive stuff by PTPL and Persero shows the increase 229.44 which obtained from the difference between the post-test and the pre-test result. Its presentation increase is 45.89%. Now I will give the conclusion about this research. Promotion quality of using the inductive stuff held by Peterpan Bersero shows bad results based on the obtained pretest. So we use the cognitive intervention method with redesigning posters, video, and do discussion, combined with word of mouth, resulting the significantly increase the number of inductive stuff users in Indonesia with the category of good. We also have recommendations regarding this research that cognitive intervention implementation can also be applied on the other social media besides posters, video, and discussion as well as another promotion to increase the number of PTP and Persero customers outside this inductive soft promotion, such as power edition, new summon, etc. And I think that's all from us. Thank you for your very kind attention. We hope you enjoy our presentation and goodbye.